Hello everyone, Jeff here for Respawn Studios, back with a Hearthstone video, the first one in quite a while. Um, this is with the huge update expansion that came out today. It added a new set called Whispers of the Old Gods. I tried to make a uh, pack opening video where I opened about 50, 60 packs, but <laughs> I apparently messed up how it recorded, so unfortunately that's gone. I only got... Um, four legendaries and three of them were the worst ones in the game two of the two four that give your opponent a 50 percent chance to draw a card the corrupted version of nat pagel and uh the boogie monster which is like a five seven and it gets plus two two only if it kills an enemy with attacking so just not good uh but anyway uh this is a full gameplay and then i'm going to break down the deck a little bit for uh, my slightly modified version of a C'Thun warrior that was played by the amazing player Ties on his stream today from the Netherlands. Um, it's very unusual in that you think most warrior decks are either patron or control warrior, unless it's like crazy aggro pirate warrior, which you rarely ever see. Um, a lot of the cards in this deck are one, two, or three mana. Uh, this brand Boz. Bran, Bronzebeard, uh, there's the Armorsmiths, there's a lot of the Cthune Triggers, there's Slams, Executes, Shield Slams, uh, one Battle Rage, just for some card draw if you need it, um, but yeah, <laughs> it's a very strange uh, low curve version of a Warrior, which a lot of people might not be used to, um, but it's effective. <laughs> one of the Whispers of the Old God cards that isn't a Cthune trigger in this deck is a one mana spell, which I'm not even sure if I draw in this match. Uh, forget what it's called, Blood to Akor or something. You deal one damage to a minion, and if it survives, you summon a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, it doesn't sound good on the surface, but it is quite good at establishing tempo in the early turns, or even doing one damage to something, getting a 2-2 two -two on board, and executing late in the game. Uh, little plays like that. There are a few big minions in this deck. Cthune is, of course, the huge one, which you can buff over and over again. That's why Bran is in this deck. You can double up the plus two, plus two. And for the seven mana guy that you see in my hand, it's another one of the new cards. If your Cthune is already at 10 attack, when you summon that minion, you get 10 armor. And I'm going to unleash a Bran version of that in this match and get 20 armor. So that's pretty sick. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the big changes that just came to Hearthstone, you can only use cards that have come out in the last two years, and it cut down on um, one of the expansions. So like a lot of staple cards, Piloted Shredder, Dr. Boom, can't be used anymore. And uh, I think it was thir 11 or 13 of the most used cards in the base set have been changed. Knife Juggler, um, Big Game Hunter... Iron Beak Owl, cards like that. Um, so it's it's awesome. Right now, uh, this just came out on Tuesday, so yesterday. A lot of people are trying out new decks. A lot of them are Cthune based because you got him for free just for installing the update and logging in the first time. There's also amazing promotions going on right now. Um, everyone got three packs along with Cthune just for free. And then you unlock five packs for your first two wins in standard mode and another five packs for your next uh, set of, I think, seven wins. So pretty sweet. 13 free packs, essentially, if you just get a couple wins. And it doesn't have to be in ranked play. It could be in casual as well. Uh, the other big update, and then I promise I'll get to the game and the deck a little bit more, but I, I'm just learning it myself, so I'm not like an expert or <laughs> any means. I would suggest watching uh, the rebroadcast of Ty's stream from earlier today, though he was playing a lot of different kinds of decks. Uh, but anyway, the other big update that just came to Hearthstone yesterday is uh, there's two different ways to play now. It's not just casual and ranked anymore. There's what's called wild, which means you could use any card. There's no restrictions. Um, and the other one is called standard where things that that aren't the newest expansion start to be phased out there's always going to be the classic set but then only um, recent expansion so a kind of new way to play it's it's pretty cool you can play ranked or casual mode in both of them but 
The um, rewards chest you get at the end of the season, I think, only applies to your highest rank in either of them, whichever one was higher for you. Um, yeah, so a lot of big updates. Some cards were nerfed. There's all kinds of new cards. Some cards you can't use anymore um, in standard play, but you could still use them in wild. If you haven't played Hearthstone for a while or you are just trying to get into it, they recently doubled the amount of decks you can make from 9 to 18. So a lot of cool things happening with Hearthstone. Oh, so that is the card I just highlighted is one of the big changes I've made. I added in uh, Mukla. King Mukla was originally a three mana uh, five five and you give your opponent two bananas. But this awesome one is now a six mana five five and you get yourself two bananas to use on anything. So you could buff up your Acolyte of Pain um, or Bran to keep him alive. A lot of cool little synergies there. So my opponent conceded. I was already way ahead in tempo. A lot of people are using Shaman now because of the new class cards are nuts. So there's the card I was talking about, Blood to Ikor. A lot of um, early game synergy with getting board control. If you also have a Fiery War Axe or late game, you can even use Blood to Ikor as one mana hit your opponent's C'Thun, which is like a 20-20, and then you execute it. That's the beauty of this deck. You can always execute their C'Thun, um, Shield Slam, the big guys. There's a lot of removal to keep you alive and ahead on tempo and just really rolling in the early game, and you're just surviving and getting to C'Thun, which is so insane. If you're not familiar with C'Thun, it's one of the old god cards, and again, you get it for free. Um, it's, I think, a base... 6-6, six, six, but every buff you have gives it either plus 1 or plus 2. And when it's summoned, depending on its attack power, it'll do 1 damage randomly to an enemy. So all of their minions or just the face, if there aren't no minions, and it's like a 20-20, there's 20 damage to the face. And you could have like a 20-20 on board also if they're not dead from that. It's so ridiculous. Of course, you have to survive to get there. You have to buff it up, but it's very strong. All right, thank you very much for watching this little guide and uh, recap of the developments in Hearthstone. This is Jeff, and I'll be back with more videos soon.